What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a Mammoth Swine meta team for Ranked Regulation app. Now Mammoth Swine Gen 4 Mammoth is super dope holding the Loaded Dice in today's video. Now the Loaded Dice, brand new item in Gen 9, we're going to be pairing it up with Icicle Spear, a stab ice move from Mammoth Swine to hit at least four times every single time we use it. So pretty cool little synergy there. We're going to be rocking out with that, hoping to grab some wins for you guys. But the other three moves that this Pokemon is rocking with is going to be high horsepower, nice for stab, haze, and protect. Now haze, I absolutely love it considering it just takes away all stat changes on the field. So if we're going up against say a Don Dozo team and they bring in Tatsugiri, that Don Dozo is then going to get boosted plus two in every single stat category. But with my Mammoth Swine on the field, I can haze that and just cancel that out right away, giving us the upper hand. So that's something I really, really like because I hate going up against teams that boost their Pokemon with Dragon Dance, Sword Dance, or Don Dozo teams. It's just always a problem. The other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Chiyu, Fluttermane, and Raging Bolt. Chiyu pairs up with both of them, considering they're both special attackers, making them do a ridiculous amount of damage. Then our other two Pokemon on today's team is going to be the Water Ogre Pond, alongside with Tornadus, a great support Pokemon in ranked battles. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Mammoth Swine. Looking to get today's video started off in the right direction. We're hopping into our first match going up against an Ogre Pond team. I should say Fire Ogre Pond because there's four different forms. On top of that, they're rocking out with Wimscott. They also have Rillaboom, Amoongus, Walking Wake, and Fluttermane. So a team that really thrives with Protosynthesis or in the sun, right? Walking Wake, Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, and Wimscott. Wimscott's probably rocking Sunny Day. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for. And in that case, I might just bring you because you have Rain Dance. So yeah, we're going to bring Tornadus in here for the lead. And then we're also going to lead maybe Mamoswine. I like Mamoswine up against all these grass type Pokemon, right? Mamoswine's not looking bad. Plus it has Thick Fat. And what's your Terra type? Poison? Not bad. Thick Fat's going to half the damage from Fire Moves, which is awesome. You got a lot of Fire Moves. So yeah, you know what? I'm going Mamoswine here. So Tornadus, Mamoswine going to bring Chiyu in the back end. And then either Fluttermane or Raging Bull. Who would I rather have here? Who would Jeans rather have here? Maybe Raging Bolt with that vest? That vest ain't bad. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go Raging Bolt. Here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Going up against a tough little meta-ish sun team, right? So it's probably going to come down to weather control. Who could get the weather control and who can really get ripping? We'll see. We shall see. Now, they could lead Wimscott. I think they're going to lead Wimscott and go either Tailwind or Sunny Day, but they can also lead like Ogre, Pond, right? Now, they're going to lead Fluttermouth. So Fluttermane and Ogre Pond come out here. I do have the Mammoth Swine right here. And I think from here, we just want to rock a Tailwind, right? Yeah, I'm going to go Tailwind, and I'm just going to rip, rip an Icicle Spear in this slot, right? Because now they have two options. Because since I'm using Icicle Spear, I probably KO in one shot with the Loaded Dice. So if I go Icicle Spear in this, this slot, they're either going to set up a Tailwind or Sunny Day this turn. They set up Sunny Day this turn. Hopefully my Tornado survives and we can just pop a Radiance. If they pop a Tailwind this turn, we're just going to KO it and not have to worry about the Sun. So I feel like either or we're sitting in a solid position. So my Tailwind up here. Let's see what Whimsy does. Whimsy, what are you doing? Sunny Day? Nothing. You're just going to die. Neither. That's cool. I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't mind that, but that's a little odd. No Sunny Day. Well, you're going for a Moon Blast? You're trying to double down into my Pokemon? You're trying to attack here? That's real odd. That's real odd. Power Gem's gonna fly through here. Wasn't expecting you to have Power Gem, but I'm able to soak that. Okay, cool. So now we have Tailwind. They have no way of setting Sun and no way of Speed Control. So that's actually really good for us. They're gonna go on the Robum here. Now, Robum can fake out. Um, probably gonna fake out the Mammoth Swine more so than anything. So I think our play might just be to protect Mammoth Swine and drop Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. He's going to end up withdrawing the Flutter. I mean, we get to see his final Pokemon, too. This is just an awesome start for us, right? Mammoth Swine's ripping damage. Real Boom's out here. Walking Wake comes out onto the field. And we just protect the Mammoth Swine here because I believe the Fake Out to be coming into the slot. Or Grassy Guide. That works. The Grassy Guide flies over there. I could Terrasalize into Poison if I want to. I could. I could. And Bleak Wind Storm is going to miss who? Of course, it misses a robot. The one Pokemon I really want to hit. 
So we get back a little bit of HP. I could Poison Terra here, and I'm kind of leaning towards it. I'm kind of leaning towards the Poison Terra. Just so we can eat up this Grass Glide and then just attack you. I don't think you're going to Terrasa. Actually, you might. You might. I could double down to the Walking Wake, because who do I have in the back? I have Raging Bolt. I have Chi Yu. Which is good. Um... I think I'm going to Terrasalize and double down to this Walking Wake. I want to make sure this thing goes down. I want to make sure that this Pokemon goes down. Considering Rillaboom could Terrasalize, if it doesn't, Bleak Wind Storm's going to do a nice chunk of damage. We'll see how they want to play it. We shall see. So we're going to make sure Walking Wake goes down here. We hit the Terrasalize on Mamoswine, and he doesn't Terrasalize at all. That's fine. We get rid of you, and now you're not going for an Icicle Spear. This is or not, not a Grassy Glide. This is just weird. Our opponent's playing super weird right now. I Terrasalize because I thought you were going for Grassy Glide. Maybe Woodhammer? Is that the play now? High Horsepower. Why are you going for High Horsepower here? I just wasted my Terra. It's all good. We were able to survive that, though. So we're going to force him to go for probably a Grassy Glide. And in this case... We are just going to rip a, another Bleak Wind Storm. Bleak Wind Storm all day. I'm going to Bleak Wind Storm. I am just going to go for an Icicle Spear because if I land it, it'd be nice. And we should have one turn left in Tailwind, right? So as long as Tornado survives here, we can then get off another Tailwind if we want to. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So now they're finally going to Thrasilize. Probably go into the Fairy Terror type. Yep, and if they don't grassy glide my my mammoth swine, then we get to take out this this lovely little flutter, which would be huge. Bleak Windstorm comes out here, and I'm missing my Bleak Windstorm all day. Who are we landed on? We get to land on the roll. Okay, that's cool. The roll boom drops out here, and they don't go for. I'm so confused. I'm so confused to why you're not grassy gliding here. I'm able to get off four of these shots, maybe five. I get five at KO, right? Oh, I love you. I love you, Mammoth Swine. Hitting like an absolute truck. And we're able to KO the Fluttermane and just wrap up today's match. Or I should say our first match. But that's crazy. If Bleak Windstorm would have landed, we would have KO'd no problem. But instead, Mammoth Swine has my back. He said, yo, no need to land a Ble Bleak Windstorm. I'm dropping five Icicle Spears to win this. But our opponent just could have had some KOs that he didn't take. Like, what happened to your Grassy guy? It's just throwing me off. But hey, we still end up winning this first match. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I just realized our first match was actually a sweep. So sweeping with Mammoth Swine in match number one. We love it. Icicle Spear going crazy, doing some big time damage. But we're hopping into our second match, going up against a Urshifu team. Probably Water Urshifu, right? Alongside with Tornadus, Glimora, Fluttermane, Water Urgrapon, and Chiyu. So just like us, they got the Chiyu Fluttermane combo, and they also have Tornadus. And in that case, we might just have to cancel out the whole Tornadus thing, right? Which I'm cool with. I have decent speed maybe i can taunt their tornadas before they even use anything which would be massive so i'm gonna go tornadas here and on top of that i could lead mammoth swine but i don't think i want to lead mammoth swine because i believe urshifu to maybe be a lead here or even fluttermane or not fluttermane chiyu so maybe in this case we go tornadas and we lead ogre pond here wouldn't it be bad ogre pond's not bad I do like it, especially if they're going to lead, like, say, Tornadus and Urshifu. That could be good. So I'm going to lead both of them. I am going to bring Chiyu in the back end. And last but not least, we're not bringing a Mammoth. We're either bringing a Fluttermane or a Raging Bolt. And I'm kind of leaning towards Raging Bolt. Just because it's going to be super effective onto the Urshifu, onto the Ogre Pond, onto the Tornadus. I'm cool with that. Plus, it has first turn priority with Thunderclap. Going to work well up against Pokemon such as Chiyu or Fluttermane, who, who are not that bulky. So if we get him down to maybe like half, I think Thunder Five, Thunder Clap could come in here, pick up a KO. Could be big for us. We'll see. All right, who you got leading? Who you got leading? Urshifu? Yeah. Urshifu Tornadus. I don't mind it. That's Dark Urshifu. I swear. It, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below. Is there a way to tell if it's Water or Dark Urshifu from the the little sprite picture in the beginning? Cause I can't tell. I definitely can't tell. I simply cannot tell. But you know what? I'm going to go into a taunt here. Try to taunt you right off the rip. And I'm going to terrasize you and just rip an Ivy Cudgel. I'm so down to rip an Ivy Cudgel. Or I can go for Horn Leech. Get back a little bit of HP. 
but I'm going for Taunt here. But the reason I want Terrasalize is one, get the special defense boost, and two, I don't want to be weak to Bleak Wind Storm. Just not looking to die out to a Bleak Wind Storm. So I'm Terrasalizing the Ogre Pond here. Turn one, we're getting after it. Lovely little Ogre Pond. Good old Ogre Pond. The big time Terror, we get a special defense boost, which is nice. I wonder what Urshifu's going for. And he's just going to detect, which is fine by me. Can I taunt before anything? I can. So I'm able to taunt this Pokemon before he actually uses anything. Are you going for Bleak Wind Storm anyway? What are you doing here? What's your call here? You're going for Bleak Wind Storm. You little biscuit. Bleak Wind Storm is flying out here. So he can't Tailwind or anything. So I don't mind that turn. I do not mind that turn because from here, now I can just go for a lovely little Tailwind. And on top of that, I could just Ivy Cudgel this slot. Who else could you swap into? You could swap into Ogre Pond. Oh, oh. I'm just going to Horn Leech. I want to get back some HP. I want to get back some HP. So I'm just going to stick with the Horn Leech here. I can always Bleak Wind Storm next turn if they don't KO me. But if they do KO me, I have Tailwind for four turns, which is huge. The big time taunt for us coming out here in match number one. Probably say one for a Bleak Wind Storm instead of trying to match our Tailwind energy. But they're just going to put on a nice little Terra type here. And he got Thrasalize and Urshifu? You're going to be Poison type, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Urshifu with the Poison type. The rips up with the Poison type here. Able to pop a nice little Tailwind. They're going for a Bleak Wind Storm. And they probably might just double down on my Ogre Pond. We'll see. Only going to fly here. Get back a little bit of HP. No big deal. Maybe 10 HP. A little bit more than 10. I'll take, what was that, 16, 17, 18 HP. Wicked Blow comes through here. We're able to soak, and I think we can soak Bleak Wind Storm. Or hopefully we just dodge it. We're not essentially dodging it. And Ogre Pond soaks. The so Sucker Punch definitely looking a little scary. I am just going to go into a Bleak Wind Storm of my own. And I could go Spiky Shield. The chances are you are going for a sucker punch, so I am going to end up spiky shield up here. And then drop in a nice little bleak wind storm. See how much damage this is going to do. Yep, there's a sucker punch. Get blocked. Oh, actually, it's going to fail, but still. Bleak wind storm now flies, chipping up some nice damage. We love that. And we get a speed drop on our stream. And there's a bleak wind storm. So from here, I could swap into a Pokemon if I want to. Or I could just stay in here and attack us. How many turns do we have left? Oh, your taunt's gone. Oh, we're taunting you again. How many turns are left in Tailwind? That's the real question. Two. Yeah, we're taunting you again. We can't allow you to set up Tailwind later. So I'm just going to taunt you, and... I could just Ivy Cudgel. I could go for Follow Me here. But you know what? I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel. Hopefully he, like, detects or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay, cool. That's fine. I should have went after Tornados, but... Still, we're going to be able to taunt here. He's going to waste out these Tailwind turns really well. And then from here, I'm just going to drop Bleak Wind Storm and go for an Ivy Cudgel. So, actually, this is a pretty even first turn. He played this one really, really well. Or I wouldn't say first turn, but first couple of turns, right? I just one really well. Tornadus dies out here. We have one turn left in Tailwind, I believe. And he cannot set up a Tailwind. So we keep that thing under a Taunt. I can now go into Chi Yu here, right? Yeah, can now go into Chiyu here and just drop a, hmm, just drop a Heat Wave, right? And I should probably just go for Follow Me. I could go for Spiky Chill, but maybe he doesn't Sucker Punch, to be honest. I'm just going to go after you like this. I'm just going to go after Tornadus, because they might swap Tornadus. My Ogre Pond dies out. It dies out. I don't really see it being that big of a deal. So what's going to win it here is it's going to, it's probably going to, going to turn into a 2v2 here anyway with no Tailwind on the field. So, we'll see. They end up with John Urshfu. That's fine. Maybe they, they thought I was Spiky Shield. I'll take it all day. So out comes Glimora. And Heat Wave's going to fly. Can you KO the Tornadus? You cannot. I was really hoping you would KO to be honest. And then I could just hit the hit up on this Glamora. That could have been big. That could have been real big. We end up KOing the Tornado, so they're probably gonna bring back out Urshifu, or are they saving it? Or are they saving it? Tailwind's gone now. 
Tailwind is gone. Gamora is chilling here, ready to rock. And they're going to go into Fluttermane. So Fluttermane mm, comes in here. And I would love to snarl, actually. Love to snarl. Snarl and Ivy Cudgel. I could protect you, but you know, I'm going to snarl Ivy Cudgel. The Dazzling Gleam's going to come out here, and yeah, they're just going to pick up a double KO, no problem. Yeah, solid plays on our opponent, and this one's pretty much wraps. I'm going to snarl. I should be able to snarl here, unless Glamour outspeeds me. You outspeed the fish? No, you don't. But I get off the snarl, and chances are you go for like a power gem, and then just KO me. Unless you miss. If you miss, we have a hot shot to win this match, but no, Meteor Beam instead. What's power gem? Or power herb, whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm dead to that all day. Night, night to you. Night, night to you. Power herb coming in hot. To you gone. <laughs> you didn't even need to use Meteor Beam. Should have been a power gym play. But now we're left with Raging Bull. Both these guys are minus one. Um. Huh. Thunderclap's not bad, but I'd rather try to pick up KO. And I don't think Thunderclap can. So you know what? I'm going into this slot. Looking to drop a Thunderbolt. And he's just gonna gleam me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I lose this one all day. I have a soul vest, but still. This thing's plus one as well. Yeah, got the ground move. Gone. I'm dead. I lose this one all day. I lose this one all day. Thunderbolt, I don't even think Thunderbolt KOs. No. It doesn't. And yeah, now we're just sitting in a 3v1 situation. Rage Bolt cannot compete. We're one on one for today's video. Let's go hop to our third. Look for that winning record. Final match for today's video on its way. We're sitting one and one. Gotta get Mammoth Swine back rocking out. We're one and oh with Mammoth Swine. We're oh one without Mammoth Swine. So it only makes sense for us to actually use Mammoth Swine here in the third and final battle. But we're going up against a Thunderous Steam alongside with Urshifu, Blood Moon Ursaluna, Furigraph, and Amoongus. Screams trick them to me. And then on top of that, they have Incineroar. So who do I think they're gonna potentially lead? We could go into like a special attacking combo with like Chi Yu Fluttermane or Chi Yu Raging Bolt. Which wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad. I feel like Fluttermane and Chiyu is a solid lead for us here. And we could really get ripping. And that's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. They could lead a fake out user, but you have Ghost Terror, don't you? So we can actually dodge fake out. So that's something I really, really like. And Intimidate would not really affect us. So those two Pokemon are coming in here. Um, Ogre Pond could definitely come in the back end. Going to be super effective onto a few. And last but not least, kind of like in the Mammoth. Kind of like in the Mammoth. I feel like you can't go wrong with the Mammoth. Yeah, we're going in with the Mammoth. We're bringing Mammoth Swine in here. No Raging Bolt, no Tornadas. I don't think we really even want Tornadas because if they go into Frigraph for this lead, we can't use Taunt. We can't tail one because they're just gonna trick him. And then Bleak Windstorm does mediocre damage at best. We might as well just bring in another Pokemon like we did. So let's see who they got cooking here. Who are they gonna lead here? I think it's gonna be like Frigograph and somebody else, right? Frigograph Urshifu? Let's see. Trigger up in Cinder. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. So I get the flood. I get out the flutter main and Chiyu, and chances are he's gonna terrestrialize the furry giraffe, right? Chances are they terrestrialize the furry giraffe. There's really no doubt in my mind that they terrestrialize the furry giraffe. So I'm just gonna terrestrialize you. I'm gonna pop a heat wave, and then on top of that, we are going to rip into a moonblast into the slot and double down into furry giraffe, and terrestrialize will take out the uh. The fake out chance that they can have. But I know what you guys are thinking, like, yo, jeans, why don't you just use Dark Pulse? Because this fur graph is definitely terrestrializing in a fairy type. It just it's just screaming to me, right? I'd rather not go for a Dark Pulse here. You're terrestrializing into fairy. I just have the feeling I kinda know it because if you see Chi with the dark move, you'd be terrestrializing this you'd be terrestrializing too, right? Plus Trick Room is probably their whole thing. They probably have Ursa Luna in the back end, other Pokemon like that. So by terrestrializing this Pokemon, it's gonna work well. And no, they don't terrestrialize. Well, I tried, but hey, Moonblast should still be able to do nice damage, and Heatwave should be able to clean this one up. You got a berry. Heatwave, can you still get the job done? Can you still get the job done? I love you. Okay, so plan worked out regardless. Plan worked out regardless. Moonblast doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, so they don't Terra. But again, plan still worked out regardless. Now they go into Moon Bear. Moon Bear is fine. And from here, we are just going to... I could Snarl and actually drop a special attack. Not a bad play for us. 
So just snarl the bear. And then just go into, I think I'm choice, yeah, I'm choice spec. And just go into a Moonblast into Incineroar. Yeah, I like that, because they might swap Incineroar. You never know, but still, Moonblast can do some nice damage regardless. Next to Chiyu with the choice specs, all that good stuff. So we're hoping to just rip up some big time damage into Incineroar. Drop Ursaloon in the minus one. We have speed. My Pokemon are rather fast compared to what they got. And we destroyed their whole Trick Room play, right? They really want to get off Trick Room and they really want to get Thriving with the Bear and and the, uh, and the Incineroar. But they end up protecting the Bear. They're probably going to go into like a parting shot I can see here. And Moonblast is going to come across here, do some nice damage onto Incineroar. Snarl is also going to fly, and Incineroar, you got, you got to be parting shot. Curious to see who you go into. Of course he dodges his attack too. No, you just Snarl. Okay, so you are rocking Snarl. That's fine, no big deal. No big deal. So I'm just going to keep with the Snarls, and I'm just going to Moonblast this thing, just finish it off. Maybe next turn we'll swap Fluttermane. Try to get her stats back, but Moonblast can easily take out this Tiger. Get it on out of my face. We don't want it here. But I could see him swapping here too. I think swapping would be the smart play. Fingers crossed that they don't. But swapping might be a smart play considering they have us both minus one. But if they have a Pokemon in the back end who can't really take too kindly to Moonblast. Then it might not be the play. I got Mammoth Swine in the back end. And I also have... It was uh, Ogre Pond who I really, really like here. And they're just going to withdraw the bear. So the bear gets to withdraw here. And who are they going to send out? Amoongus. Moonblast still flies here. KOs you. Top of that, we get off Snarl. And we might just want to double down into Amoongus here. I think I still Snarl next turn. Even though we can just start putting me to sleep. I think we still Snarl because they still have Terra. And I think they're just going to go into a Terra. I really do. I think they just go into like a Water Terra here. I'm just going to stick with the Snarls. Well, I could just double down into you. Yeah, let's go Dark Pulse Moonblast. Let's go Dark Pulse Moonblast. I think you Terrasilize Amoongus. I really do. You don't. You haven't used your Terra yet, and they just don't. They're just not using their Terra. This is odd. This is odd. What is up with people not using Terras today? Not using moves that I think they're going to use. So Moonblast doing a little bit of damage. Dark Pulse flying in here. Doing a little bit of damage, and he's going to be able to Spore me. So he ends up Sporing me. And now from here, we're just going to keep targeting down this Amoongus, I guess, right? Might as well. It's our best bet. Or I can go after the bear. I'm just going to go after the bear. So I think their whole objective here is now just be like, hey, I'm just going to spore spam you in hopes I can win this game. Which I don't blame them for, but it's going to be annoying. I mean, if it's a last-ditch effort, I understand the, the yield spore spam, but now they're going to Terrasize. Now the Terra comes out here. And they're going to go into a normal type here. Yeah, they're still going to do as much damage as they can with Hyper Voice and that Mind's Eye ability. Lucky Biscuit, though. That ability really saving them here. Really saving them. Moonblast is still going to fly here. Not bad damage. Half for being minus one. We'd love that. We'd love that. And now Hyper Voice coming across the board. And he's looking to spore me again. So Hyper Voice coming out here, taking out the Fluttermane. She was surviving. And now they're definitely going for a what's it called? Oh no, you're going for a Palm Pop. Oh, we don't like that. Hold up. This bear is, this bear is annoying me right now. This bear is really annoying me. This bear is really annoying me. So something I can see them doing here is is protecting the Ursaluna again. So I'm going to make sure that what's called goes out here. I'm going to make sure that this Amoogus dies out. I don't want to protect the Ursaluna and just spore my Mammoth Swine, right? That's something we don't want. But they could also protect the Amoogus and just attack me, which would be a huge play. That would be a huge play. But I feel like they would have to go for Hyper Voice here. So in this case, we are just going to rip into the Moongus. Hopefully my Mama Swine survives the Hyper Voice. Probably does, right? And then it turns into a 2v1 situation. But they're putting up a good fight. Chiyu's going to wake up early here. We love that. Big time Snarl from Chiyu. Big time plays from Chiyu. So Snarl coming out and about. We would love it. Special attack's going to drop on him. And we get a lovely little Icicle Spear to clean, 
to KO this immunity. So that's big. Minus one now on this bear. And it was looking a little scary for a little bit considering Spore was a problem, but now it's looking really well. It's looking real well. Looking real well. Yep, there's the Hyper Voice. He's minus one now. Chiyu's still going to die out this, but Mammoth Swine says, yo, that's a tasty snack and eats it up. Actually still does a ridiculous amount of damage. It really does. It really does. But now I get to bring out the lovely little Ogre Pond. I get to be able to drop some big time moves. And on top of that, I outspeed. Awesome. Nope. So Blood Moon can probably KO any of my Pokemon in one shot, but a Hyper Voice cannot KO the Ogre Pond, so that's huge. So I'm just going to go Ivy Cudgel. We're going to rip with a nice little Icicle Spear, and that should be the game. That should be the game. Ivy Cudgel coming in hot here. Bring you down the red, and then Mammoth Swine outspeeds. Awesome. 2 and 1 for today's video. Mammoth Swine doing really well with the loaded dice. We went 2 and 0 with Mammoth Swine, so solid video. I had a feeling that Mammoth Swine was going to shine today. This Pokemon lit it up. I'm pretty sure I only used Protect and Icicle Spear in today's video, but that's all it needed. We swept match number one. Match number two, we didn't bring this Pokemon and we ended up losing. Then match number three, it came in clutch in the back end, dropping big time Icicle Spears, picking up some KOs onto the Ursa Luna and onto the movies. Love this team so much. But pairing it up with these meta Pokemon, Raging Bolt, Shiyu, Fluttermane, makes for this team to be really, really strong in the Master Tier. So if you guys want to push Master Tier with Mammoth Swine, be my guest. Rent the code top right hand corner. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.